I really enjoy my time staying here. It's cozy and quiet. Sometimes I read, write, and drink bubble tea. The jasmine bubble tea is really good here. It reminds me of the jasmine tea I drink at home. Uh, so my favorite type of bubble tea is oolong milk tea, and I always order it with a uh, less level of sugar. So that makes me feel it's more like tea, and it also reminds me of the tea at my hometown. Uh, but for me, I think maybe it's a terramilk tea because it's more sweeter than the original one. And I like this kind of style, so that's my favorite tea. Yeah, uh, so we always uh, order it online through uh, DoorDash or Uber Eats. And normally at weekends, we just order a couple of milk teas and then just uh, watch TVs and then enjoy. Uh, so sometimes we always uh, make the milk tea at home. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, we just uh, use this box of tea that we bought from China and make uh, some hot tea and then mix it with milk. Um, so it's very easy. Just mix this two together. And then after it cooled down, we can get some honey or sugar and mix with it. And then it's very tasty. Is have a lot of um, original tea flavor, it makes me feel like in my hometown. Yeah, and also I think uh, for the milk tea, maybe the tea is the most important thing. And this tea is just the greatest black tea in our country. So I think uh, by using this tea, we can make a great uh, milk tea. We can always add some honey or sugar to it. That's his favorite flavor, but for me, uh, no, this is enough. Nope. a minute. I think at first I taste sweet and then I taste the black tea. Um, I think because there, there's a texture difference. So most of the time in coffee, unless you get something specific from a coffee shop that has something crunchy on top of whipped cream or something, there isn't a, te a texture change. And there, there is a different texture in here than just the liquid. And so in that way, it's different, definitely. And I like it, it's, it mixes it up a little bit. I want to say that they have more similarities because when I think, when I mentally categorize beverages, I would categorize those two beverages in the same section. It wouldn't be like soda and coffee, which I would put in two different sections. They're made of similar ingredients and so I kind of view them the same way. I've never been to Asia, so I'm not sure, but I do think of tea as a, as a mostly Asian beverage, or that genre, right? Um, and I feel like this might be kind of Americanized, just because I imagine that sticking a bunch of sugary balls into something, you know, or a bunch of ch changing the texture and making something more interesting, 
is, but also further from traditional stuff, is something that, you know, the West or America does more. But I, I honestly wouldn't know. I'd have to do research. Definitely, I can see this being, you know, instead of going out for frozen yogurt, you go out to get this. Because it's fun, and when, you're, when you don't get the classic flavors, it can be very colorful and Instagrammable and all of those things, so I can definitely see it fitting into American culture, not just from the past 10 or so years, but in the future as well. Is texture a, a bad word to use for it? I feel maybe like fun. I think it's very fun to have the different textures in one drink. I don't know if I would call tea boring, but I only go for tea when I need it for specific reasons. So if it's cold outside and I've already had coffee and I don't want to have too much caffeine, maybe I'll drink tea then or if I'm sick. I think tea to me is more medicinal and it's more for when I, I feel a certain way and need to shift that feeling. Whereas this is kind of, I can see myself getting a craving for something like this, but it's not medicinal in the same way. I don't know how much this would make me feel better if I had a cold, you know? Eigentlich wollte ich nur einen Kaffee trinken. Ich sehe noch meine Freunde durch die Scheibe winken. Bis gleich, du weißt ja, wir sind spät dran. Doch da zog mich dieser Laden schon in seinen Bann. In eine Richtung war sehr pink geraten Eine Schrift so bunt wie aus dem Kindergarten Der Verkäufer mit dem Rest des Ladens Ton in Ton Grinste unaufhörlich und er sprach davon Dass er mir natürlich gerne Kaffee machen könnte Aber Kaffee wäre doch eher eine lahme Ente Im Vergleich zu dem, was er hier sonst verkaufe Und so begann in etwa meine Bubble Tea Taufe Ich hatte ja keine Ahnung von diesem neuen Trend, den der smarte Asiate schon seit Jahren kennt. 